Hey, hey, happy day. Recently, there was an NBA All-Star game, and there was a lady, her name is July Black, and she sang the National Anthem of Canada, and she really messed it up. She said this, Oh, Canada, our home on native land, with emphasis, of course, on on, O-N, when in fact it's supposed to say, Oh, Canada, our home and native land. So with that emphasis and everything else, what she's really saying is it ain't our land, it's the Indians' land. And a lot of people said to her, hey, Hey, good for you and we're getting going now where we're supposed to be going and this is wrong it's wrong I mean to take a, a, an anthem of a country and and to play with a wordage like that for your own little political kind of gain or whatever that wordage would be she should be charged she should be put in bloody jail so far you got to feed her with a slingshot it's wrong it's bad and it ain't nice Firstly, it's not the Indians' land. People have title to the land. There's land titles offices all throughout the nation, and people own things. And the Indians say, we own it? Well, then the white guys should go away. I mean, they have no right to be there if, in fact, the Indians own it. I mean, this business about unceded territory and treaty numbers such and such, you can't go to a ball game, you can't go to a hockey game without that wordage, that verbiage being said. We are here, and we're on unceded land. Well, then you've just told me, Edmonton Oilers, Toronto Maple Leafs, and so on. You just told me that you're a dishonest group of scoundrels because you're squatters. You're on somebody else's land. Your comeback would be, but we have title. Well, then you can't say two things. Why don't you honest up here a little bit? Because that's what you're doing. You're showing videos and every, people go there to watch a hockey game. And all of a sudden they have to look at this. The Indians own it, I guess. It's unseated. So you're sitting with a whole bunch of gangsters. And that's what you're doing. Churches, they do that. Welcome to the service this morning. I mean, we're here under treaty number such and such, and we're on unceded land. I stood up in church one time. It was an 8 a.m. service. There wasn't many people there. I embarrassed the heck out of my mother, and I said, hold on here. You know, I couldn't help myself. You want me to put money in the collection plate, and you just told me you're a squatter. You don't even own the property. Yes, I agree. Wow, the church has title. I said, but you just told me you don't. And because it's unseated. Somebody else owns it. You don't even pay rent, so you're a gangster. You're a dishonest. And you want me to come to church and pray with you? I don't think so. And on and on it goes. I mean, the Indians, they're a conquered people. We won. That's not to say we should treat anybody badly. Of course not. But all of this new thing, this new movement, is just another agenda from the left. And everyone's falling along like sheep. And it's bad. And they shouldn't be doing it. I've talked to Indians and they say, what's going on? I mean, you guys are giving it all back to us. And I said, yeah, certainly looks like that. You guys have more control over development than white people do than anything. Uh, and anything that anybody would have ever believed possible. And we should all be treated the same. You now have this special interest group that seems to be getting so much in it. The liberal government gives the Indian nations everything. And yet they are nations within a country. A lot of them even have their own passports. They have signs up that say we're a country, we're a government, we're... Wow. And... and I don't think most Indians even vote, and the liberals seem to keep giving. What's going on with that? Can't you have a settlement here somehow and do it and get it over with? I mean, instead of this ongoing thing. And now again, the latest thing is, and people have it in their emails as well, you know, with their little he's and she's and all the dumb pronouns, they're saying, you know, this is unseated land. Well, firstly, your pronouns should be dumb and dumber, not he and she. And, and secondly, you shouldn't be doing that again, unseated, because you're a dishonest person then if you're truly on unseated land. Give it back. The Indians will be happy, and you should all move to Minnesota. I don't know where, but you certainly shouldn't be living on land that you don't own. Hey, that's my rant for the day. And I like Indians, by the way. I like everybody. I don't dislike anybody. Well, I do. I dislike those who treat us so differently and are div divisive and, and always trying to pick a fight with us. And, and I hate people like this, this woman that, that, that dislike me, that go in and come up with things just to stir the pot because she's got me stirred up. Hey, see ya.